Oh, are, are these what we saw last episode from the island? Okay, they're loud. <gasps> oh, what is that? Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero, everyone. Last time was a doozy. Uh, we found this island here. We found, get this, Margaret Maida from Subnautica 1. Um, believe it or not. Yeah, that was like the biggest deal of last episode. But we also got this little, little research area and a satellite here, which has further use, I believe. Of course, um, I'm gonna have to go continue on before I can use any of this stuff. It's a bit complicated for, uh, us right now. Anyways, I, uh, said that I was gonna go straight over to Midas, uh, this episode but I was thinking um we don't know exactly how deep Maida is I'm assuming there's not an island over there I mean I should probably go ahead and make a rebreather possibly try to get the s fragments for the sea truck if I haven't already do I already have that oh I actually can make the sea truck yeah I think I might want to do that before I go ahead because I haven't found any fragments for the sea moth, so I guess the sea truck will have to suffice. So I'm gonna make the rebreather, the sea truck, and then go see Mart. Okay? How the heck did I get off this island? I guess I should probably just drop down right here. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. There we go. Let's go. Wow. Didn't realize it was a shallow right here. Alright, let's. Just head back, I guess. Oh. Man, I can't wait to get exploring even more. That's gonna be so much fun. Mineral rich crevices detected below. Geothermal activity detected. Caution advised. I found that out before you did. Got a fishy. New creature discovered. Feather fish. Oh. Oh, okay. I totally forgot those things were around here. I am, I am not cautious enough for this. Okay, just gotta stay low between the thermal vents. Don't see me, please. You don't see me. You don't see me. Gosh, they're so fast. <gasps> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that's a bit too close. Alright. The safety of the thermal vents. Stick with me. There's so much stuff here I want to scan, but I just am not comfortable with doing that right now. Okay. Okay, we left the area. Hopefully none of them will follow me. Now the worst thing I gotta look out for are brute sharks. Which aren't that much of a problem. Also, sorry if I sound different. I'm a bit sick due to it being springtime now and all. Really messes with me. It would be nice to get some battery for the sea moth too. And the scanner, I feel. Alright. Oh, uh, Alan? You do not trust all terror. No. Neither do you. But your sister was Altera. My sister was my sister. She worked for Altera. My people do not perceive a difference. We are what we work for. Well, Sam wasn't. I should have guessed Altera would find a way to clip Sam's wings like I knew they'd do to mine. I tried to warn her, and she was stubborn, just like me. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be so different from her. Scrappier. Faster, way less play by the rules. Was Sam working in the best interest of all time? Yes, but they definitely didn't think so. We believe that individuals may operate in the best interest of the collective or against the best interest of the collective. There is no in between. Alan, so. So you always saw eye to eye on absolutely everything with your network? No. I sense there's more to this story. And more to your sister's story as well. That's fine. Change the subject. We'll come back to it later. Learn. I have determined the location of some important technology. 
I implore you to investigate. Will this help us build you a body? I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. Signal location uploaded. Learning to more about Outland, eh? I need to get the uh the uh vehicle bay. I guess I could cook up some feather fish. Don't tell me I don't know how to make the upgrades. From here? Um Ah, the mobile vehicle bay. I need to find more fragments of that. Oh shoot. Oh no. Ah, it's horrible. Shoot, I don't even know where to look. I guess I could go this direction since Alan has set a beacon over there and I'll just try to find fragments on the way. Mobile vehicle bay fragments? Those are sea glide. Get some ribbon plants on the way. Might as well. All sea glide, but no vehicle bay. Got a kelp forest over here. And some nautical one, we found vehicle bay fragments in the uh, kelp forest. What's going on here? Got big ol' big ol' roots. Got some stuff. Please leave me alone. Uh, that didn't work out well. More sea glide fragments in the nest. Is that the only thing that the sea monkeys have in their nest? Got symbiotes over here. Oh. What are these? What are these? Ugh. That scared me for some reason. I can got some over here. What is this? Got a PDA? Ah, jeez. These sea monkeys are gonna get me in trouble. This is the third shipment that those buggers have gotten their weird little hands into. Now we're running low on flares and I'm gonna have to search nearby nests for stolen cargo. They're lucky they're kinda cute. Raccoons of the sea, those ones. Yeah. I'm lucky they aren't as much of a nuisance to me as that guy. Oh, we got the uh, Pathfinder, is it? I forgot. Yeah, Pathfinder tool. What the heck is this? Huh? Go away. I don't want you. Frost an enemy? Everything is out to get me, is it? Uh, Alan's marker is pretty deep down, and I still haven't found a vehicle bay. We're getting a little closer to the marker, though. Oh no. I get dark all of a sudden. Okay, I can feel my heart rate getting so much faster. What's going on? Titan whole fish saved me. Oh, are, are these what we saw last episode from the island? Okay, they're loud. <gasps> oh, what is that? Alright. Note to self, don't come to the purple vents because there are huge things over there. How can these titan hole fish be so casual about that? I'm gonna head back and go the other direction. Laser cutter. Okay, I gotta make this quick. Hey, you can't take that. What is this? Spinner fish? Sure. Alright, I need oxygen. But there's a laser cutter in that nest, but they're surrounded. You're gonna take my scanner, guys. Scan. Now, 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 now. Get. Great, it's dark out. It's gonna be harder to find anything. Are we back at the dropped beacon from the first episode? Where I died around here? Let's make sure not to do that again. I did see 
one of y'all say that I did forget some stuff here. And I am so thankful that y'all said that. Yes. Alright, I, I don't want to explain how long that took. Alright. <laughs> Wait a minute. Margaret's beacon better not be where we saw that giant freaking shrimp dish. That has to be a leviathan. No way it isn't, right? I mean, is that our first encounter with a leviathan in Below Zero? I think I might have been. All right, we can go ahead and ping this. Okay. Gonna need a computer chip. Table coral. Great. Wonder where those are gonna be. Okay, I need some gold, some copper. I need to look go out for table coral. Oh, this is food. Interesting. Yeah, I could eat some frost anemone. I'm gonna need some lubricant too and titanium ingot. Lubricant is the clusters. I'm gonna need a lot of titanium too. Oh um, boy. Limestone. Okay, we got limestone. Cluster. I can go for some copper right about now. Oh, hey. Hey, give me back my quartz. Wait. That was my quartz, right? I don't know. I just know y'all take stuff. <laughs> what is it giving me quartz? That would've been nice. No, I feel kind of bad. Titanium. Copper. Titanium. Titanium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Need two more titanium. Copper. You give me titanium. That should be enough. Little battery power left in my sea glide. All right. Well, we got the titanium. We got the clusters and the stuff needed to make the following materials. Oh, uh, we got a. The sea monkeys have changed their tune. If only I could let them know what I need. Maybe they could bring me something useful next time. <laughs> They were bringing me the quartz. Is there a way to get them to do that? Strange. Just realized I forgot the table coral though. No idea where to find that. Unless they are nearby, like they should be, I think. I need two table coral. I would always find them in the safe shallows or grassy plateaus, and we've seen neither of those biomes here. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna need some titanium for the sea glide, so I'm just getting more on my way to find a uh, tape coral. Wherever that would be. Ah, those kind of looked like table coral shelf coral I'm sure that's the same come on dang they really turned table coral into a rare resource did they <gasps> yes yep one really what happened to them giving many all right so I'm in the right area the twisty bridges area that's where you find table coral. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen That's fine. Because I'm just leaving. Alright. Let's go ahead. Make that computer chip. Finally. And let's cook up some food. The spinner fish. Because I did it. Arctic. Ray. Put up these nutrient blocks. What am I doing with them? All right, now I should be able to come down here, get that. Finally. All right, and now I can go ahead and unpin that. All right, let's go deploy this thing. 
Uh, anywhere's fine, really. Alright. Let's get on and see what it takes to make a sea truck. Ah, uh, oh boy. Alright, another titanium ingot. Advanced firing kit. Some glass, maybe, if I feel like it. <laughs> I should have enough. The survival rate would be greatly enhanced with the construction of an underwater vehicle. I know. Vehicle. That's why I'm doing it. Got enough to make the sea truck now. Weirdly shaped, though. I don't know about that. Thanks, guys. And we got the first vehicle. Oh, this is weird. Hey, sure works like a. Ooh, sea moth. Okay, let's fuel up. I think I might go make a rebreather as well. Can't be too safe, you know. I just need to get fiber mesh and one more silver. Oh, hello, sea monkey. Uh, thank you. Oh, you're so nice. I want to stack up on ribbon plants. I want to stack up on batteries. Oh, there's a PDA down here? Alright, I'll see that in just a sec. Altera misplaces one kilometer cap to the hill ship Aurora. <coughs> oh, okay, this is from some nautical one. Dangerous weather right. approaching. See the Shendo. independent galactic news intergalactic perspective contact has been lost with Aurora some 18 months into its journey to install a phase gate in the Ariadan arm reports inside sources. Altera launched the Aurora to much fanfare almost two years ago and recently announced the ship had arrived in the destination solar system. The Aurora has reportedly now missed more than one routine check-in. Asked for comment, a spokesperson for Altera said, communication with ships outside of the phase gate network can take weeks or months in ordinary circumstances and is commonly interrupted. The Aurora was in good shape and ahead of schedule the last time they checked in. We have no reason to think anything has changed. Nonetheless, our sources emphasize that Altera cannot yet explain the loss of contact, and given the exceptional value of the ship and its mission, they are taking every possible measure to reestablish contact. Shareholders will be waiting, watching closely. Keen readers will remember, however, the Altera's network of directors have a history of leaking scare stories like this to the press, only for the Transgov to rebound with positive news against the odds. Directors, shareholding, and dealing are, of course, not public information. Interesting. Yeah, okay, get a little bit more insight onto the Aurora and what Altera was doing during Subnautica 1. I like that. Got a copy from you, buddy? Thank you. Alright, let's go ahead and make the rebreather. Well, let's make the silicon rubber. Oh. Did I misread that? I got the fiber mesh. Okay. Silicon rubber. I need that. Wiring kit. I can do that. I got silicon rubber in here. Okay, rebreather. The rebreather facilitates extensive free diving by recycling air more efficiently at significant depths. Breathe the freedom. <laughs> Alright, we got a lot of batteries now. We can recharge and conquer. Now, 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 I know, long wait, now we can finally go see Margaret. All the way at her last known location, 
over a kilometer away. Oh boy. And we will see what is in between here and there. It'll be fun. Uh, I should probably bring some food and water. <laughs> now we're ready to go. And we're on our way. Okay, we got a max depth of 150. Okay, so we're gonna have to get past these guys. Those ugly, ugly, scaly looking people. Leave me alone. I hope I'm faster than them. <laughs> go away, go away, go away. No. No, I was hoping. Oh. Uh, I'm not faster than them. I'll have to maneuver better than them then. But I have to go over here. Remember what we saw last time we were over here? Uh, yo. Hold up. Rock Puncher? They... They scrapped this guy. What's up with that? Okay, I really want to look at you, but... I want to stay cautious as well. You are amazing. Ha! Huh. There are little rock groups on that rock. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, relatively flat over here. We got these purple thermal vents. These little guys are nothing compared to what we saw. Okay, I am not as scared of these guys anymore that I have this. Okay, we're almost there. Leave me alone. Detecting stone of an astronautical salt transco vessel nearby. Huh? Vessel name, Mercury 2. Wait, Not detecting a, a stern? As in just like a piece of it? You know how crazy that sounds? Okay, it's getting pretty deep. Yo. Warning. Shoot. Maximum depth reached. All right. Hull damage imminent. Man, I am on edge beyond belief right now. Where are we? Hello? Oh. <gasps> Oh, I, I heard, I've seen those, uh, and I think it was one of the trailers. Aren't they called glow whales? Oh, you got a big mouth. It's a whale. This makes me happy. Yo, are these like lily pads though? I want to get on them. And I actually can. Oh my gosh. Okay. Lily pad for the win. It's getting dark out. I think I might stay up here until it gets bright. <laughs> uh, what are you going to see what's up with the glow whale? I'm pretty sure these guys are f good. Let's uh, scan them. Glow whale. Alright, let's read about them. Glow whales are communal leviathans, approximately 30 meters long, often found swimming in the open ocean and occasionally breaching the surface. F photo, photo, fo it's lightning out here, oh my goodness. Photospores, uh, glow whales contain several types of bioluminescence, perhaps the most noteworthy are their photospores, definitely saying that wrong, which are incandescent glandular organs found at the corners of their eyes and the pods at the tip of their sail-like pectoral fins. Glow horns. The glow whale's blue horns behave similarly to turning forks? Tuning forks. The horns receive waves of sound in the water and help glow whales identify members of their pod from a distance. This ability is also used in hunting shoals of, uh, or to determine positioning of potential food sources. So they don't have echolocation, instead they have tuning forks. <laughs> when pods of whales are at play, they emit a harmonious series of notes and resonate in the horns and release a series of chemicals that appears to create a joyful response in nearby whales. 
This note's frequency is too high to be heard by human ears. It's passive. It uh, has barnacles and algae. Assuming I can collect those like we could with the reef back, which were the whales of Subnautica 1. Probably not, though. Oh, we got another one over there. This is great. I love this. You know what? From a bird's eye view, these lily pads look like green dots. You know, that might be... This must be what we saw on the map over by uh, Delta Station. That's pretty cool. We already we passed up uh, Allen's marker. Um, where's the seed truck? There you go. Oh, I wonder if I can like he can actually like accidentally swallow me. Okay. <laughs> Interact. What? Hello? Yo. I'm riding this thing. It's so cool, you can ride them. Yo. Alright. I, I, I'm getting lost over here. Is it getting bright out? Looks like it's getting bright out. Might be just me though. No, it's just me, okay. I wanna see a little bit deeper down. What's going on down here? These things are acting like the, uh, Underwater floating islands from some nautical one except they're being lifted up by lily pads. Is that precursor stuff over there? Oh, we got dead lily pads I also want to see what's oh actually Okay um, Last location is actually like right here this whole time Glow whales, keep me away from these other guys. They they they, 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 look, they look scary. Ah, shoot. Okay, I'm a bit too deep. This whole time. Oh, oh, oh! Why is your mouth like that? <laughs> Glow whale, save me. This whole time, I wanted to come over here, and I need an. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Yeah, we know. It's because of the lily pads. Okay. Those guys spooky. Um. I need an upgrade. I saw... I, I, I wasn't paying too much to it, but I saw in the fabricator about upgrades. Do I have that unlocked? Yeah, I do. Enameled glass. Oh boy. We haven't seen any stalkers. What am I supposed to do about that? Alright, I'm gonna... I don't have a repair tool either. I am so unprepared. I thought I was getting prepared this whole time with the sea truck. The, the, uh, uh, the rebreather. But I am not at all. Okay. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Glow whale. Save me. Man, the sea truck is slow. Okay, please don't mess with the sea truck, guys. I want to see if I can see something, at least. I want to see something. I don't want to come here for nothing, you know? Something? What is this? Sea truck aquarium? Module? Hello? I, I don't see any oxygen plants either. This is bad. What am I doing? Am I even going the right way? I don't even know. I've got sea monkeys here. You came within range of data that might help with the construction of a new storage unit. Oh yeah? You must continue to investigate. I would love to do that, but it's way too... Okay. Way too deep. Um... I need to come back later. Wow, this is disappointing. Uh, let's try to go see Alan's marker, at least. Maybe we can do something there. Uh, which direction? Architect Artifact X3. Whatever that means. Okay, we got brood sharks and more of the scaly freakout guys. 
Okay, we're back to this area. That means I want to stay low. Just in case. I really, really hate this biome now that I saw a glimpse of what's here. I haven't... Significant geothermal activity detected below. Beware of high pressure and temperatures. Hmm, interesting. Well, I want to check out what this is about. It's way too dangerous out here to do anything like that, though. I haven't yet pinpointed out the sound that that bigger guy makes. The uh, the red guy. He was red, right? I think he was red. Like a Reaper Leviathan. I know it wasn't. It didn't look like a Reaper Leviathan. That sounded new. I think. I don't know. I, 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 I need to learn the sounds these guy makes. I'm getting beat up over here. Yeah, um, to get that upgrade module, I need, uh, enamel glass. Uh, if y'all know where to find any stalkers, uh, let me know. Man, finding things is such a pain. Okay, we're, like, right above where Alan wants us to be. Hmm. Perhaps this cave here will bring us there? It's that cave with the the bulbous roots. Okay, I probably shouldn't take my sea truck in here. It's a bit cramped. Okay, we're like right here, right here. Like right here, right here. Come on, where's an open? I need to get down there. Yeah, okay, what is this? What's going on here? What you found is more than just an artifact. It will Are you sure? Follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad it could help. Water analysis? To have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, oh, thanks. I may regain some of my connection to the network, piece by piece. Okay, let's go back to the sea truck and read up on what this is. Okay, what's up, Alan? How do your people communicate if you are not networked? What do you mean? We just talk to each other. Do you not find that primitive? We exist as data. We are all aware of each other's thoughts and needs. Scientific endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but thoughts are private. And people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. What, what do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings, each playing its own range of notes, none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony. A continuous throng in the background of its interesting way of putting it. I am now a lone stream in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. Okay. That's really interesting actually. But I've never thought of it that way. Um search uh, let's uh, see what this is all about. A water analysis station. This apparent research device seems built to determine the chemical components and properties of water samples. Possible applications include testing for levels of Kara bacterium, spectroscopic analysis, or experimental application of light, heat, or chemical compound via the cylindrical core at the center of the storage chamber. Interesting. It's great to help Alan. I really do enjoy his character. He's so interesting. Well, finally back. Well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Now, I know, I know I said I was going to go see Margaret Maida today, but it just didn't work out. But that doesn't mean we didn't do anything this episode. We got the sea truck, rebreather. Um, we helped out Alan find out that weird thing in... A random cave. I don't know why that's there. Um, 
we've seen a lot of new creatures. We went exploring, and I can't wait to go get a stasis rifle and scan to learn about them. Because i really tired of just calling them big scaly things. <laughs> it's not giving them justice. Yeah, I have to go find a stalker teeth. Assuming that's still how you make enamel glass. Um, but in the meantime, I suppose next time we're here, we have to kind of move our attention to other objectives. Calorie intake recommended. Thanks. Well, anyways, if you liked what you see, why not stick around? Maybe like more. And I'll see you next time.